back to my channel. I'm Athena. This is my channel, Stitching Goddess Designs, and today is going to be Vlogoween Day 9 plus all the magical haul. So I'm going to do Vlogoween first. We'll do blo we'll do magical haul at the end. Um, it's going to be amazing for anybody who doesn't want to watch the magical haul. That's fine. Um, it's Saturday. I'm Hot Mess Express today. That's okay. Um, it's super late in the day too because I had a I really slept in today and then um, the, the house has just been full and crazy and noisy so I had to wait but that's okay we've got a we've got we've got amazing stuff today um, I got a package in the mail yesterday um, yeah it's gonna be this is going to be like an episode not just a quick little vlogoween so let's jump in to Day nine. Okay, I've had, I think I have a new subscriber. Hello, welcome. Um, she's been asking what all of my acronyms are. So hopefully I will catch my acronyms, explain them. If I say them, um, I know that I've said FFO before and that is a fully finished object. She also asked what LNS is and that is a local needlework store. Um, Vlogoween, vlog, Halloween. It's a daily vlog. A vlog is a video... I don't even know what vlog stands for. Video something or other though. Um, anyways, it's a, it's a short little video that we're doing, that I'm doing daily. Um, a lot of floss tubers who um, do the, their cross stitch channels here on YouTube are doing flossoween. I wish I would have jumped on that and made mine flossoween instead because if you search vlogoween, you kind of get buried. There's like so many different people not just cross stitchers that are doing vlogoween, it's more generic. Whereas flossoween was probably more generic to us. I should have done that. Anyways, regardless, day nine, I am opening a advent from the Black Needle Society. Where's the label on this thing? Opening an advent box from the Black Needle Society. It's a 31 day advent box. I am opening a 31 day October advent um, box from um, Alma Nim Nim's Yamir. She's sending floss every day. Or she sent floss for every day. I'm opening one a day. There, that makes more sense. Um, I'm also doing this 13 spooky um, mini Funko Pops. There's some of them right there. And then I am doing the, so I'm alternating between that one and then I'm doing this one, which is just a box of Halloween stuff that I bought and I'm showing like one every other day. Okay, there's a recap of what I'm doing. So let's dive in to day nine for Black Needle Society. It's in this bag with a count of Dracula on the back. Um, I'm did not scratch my trick or treat card for today. It should have been this one right here. I didn't scratch it, but that's okay because um, PSA, if you haven't already figured this out or seen the announcement on the Black Needle um, Facebook group, um, the scratch off card for today is not correct. We had a uh, change for the better, I believe. Um, it was just a change. Anyways, we had a change in what was sent and it's a different type of thing that was sent today than what's on the card. So, boom, we got fabric today. And you know what that means? If you've been participating in the Black Needle Society for this, we've got Be Stitch Me, and this is a Catacombs. It's a 1 8 yard, 32 count linen, and this is what it's called for, for the pattern that will be coming. So if you've been around um, Black Needle Society, on this day we get fabric, the next day we'll get floss, the third day we'll get a pattern. And then we'll go back to like random objects until we get to yet another um, set. Um, so we've basically kitted up, and Katie has said this over there on the Black Needle Society, four different patterns. We've basically kitted them up for you. We give you fabric and floss um, for four different patterns. And this, can we just, can you, can you, I'm sorry, one more time, one more time. Can we even, with this fabric, like, 
I do not know how she got this effect to happen, but it is absolutely stunning. This is my favorite side. This side is good too, but it's definitely more muted. This is my favorite side. And it's linen, and it's 32 count, so that means I'm gonna have to stitch over two on linen. Uh, I'm not a fan of that, but I love this fabric. This is amazing fabric. Okay. Day nine for your mirrors. Oh, I totally messed it all up when I picked it up to show you guys. Yeah, this is day nine. And we've got... Ooh, pretty. Um, blues, teals. Oh, this definitely... Okay, so what do we got? Blue ice. This is this is a really, really pretty blue. And I think I've said this before, but I'm like loving the blues lately. Oh, how I could have been using this the whole time. Um, here we go. This thing's got stuff all over it, but that's okay, sorry. Um hopefully uh, this color's not coming out super oh wait, there we go. There we go, I got it. Ha <laughs> ha. It's a really nice, like, crystal blue. Love that. It's blue ice. Love that one. Okay. Um, day nine, day nine. Okay, we're going to do this one today because I believe we did, yeah, I think we did the scissor fob yesterday. So we're going to go back to doing this one today. We're going to open day five. have oh. um lost boys i think i'm gonna say lost boys but he's got a beard i don't remember him having a beard in lost boys someone correct me um but i'm almost positive this is the guy from the lost boys with the long hair he's gonna kill me but who <laughs> Let's just Google this real quick because I'm pretty sure Lost Boys, it's the main guy. Kiefer Sutherland? Is it Kiefer Sutherland? The blonde? Yeah, I think it's Kiefer Sutherland, David. Um, but let me see, did he have a, did he have a beard? I don't know. Oh yeah, I guess he did. Okay, there you go. Uh, no, brightness. That's who I'm thinking it is. Keeper Silverland right there. Blonde guy. Someone correct me if you think I'm wrong. There's nothing that tells me. There's nothing that tells me who it is. I would maybe have to go on like a, some Funko Pop um, fan page or something like that and see what other people think. But I've been staying off of those because they're ahead of me if they're opening one a day. Love it. Okay. That's the three advents. Yes. Yesterday, I went down to Heart's Desire in Wichita. Um, I went with Eunice, Katie, Laura, Jessica, and um, met Judy there. Because um, she's already in Kansas. So, it was very good, you guys. They had a garage sale going on, and they had this whole whole table spread out of like everything was like a dollar two fifty five dollars depending on what it was I didn't even look I didn't even look people were going around the table and they're all looking and Jessica went around the table and she was like oh my gosh you need this pattern and I was like no I don't it's only a dollar I don't care I don't need it I'm on a no buy I'm being very good and then Eunice goes around the table and she's like oh my god you need this pattern and I'm like no I don't it's okay. It's only a dollar. I don't need it. I'm no buy. And then Eunice went and checked out and then came back over and she's like, you clearly need this pattern and I've already paid for it. Here you go. So I got a dollar pattern and it's the Christmas spider, you guys. And there's a whole little tail that goes along with it. Um, shortened version is along the lines of like the mom, like super, super, super cleans the house. On Christmas Eve to get ready for Christmas 
and that the spiders get banished because mom's cleaning the house, right? So the spiders get banished up to the attic, but then they're super sad because they can't see the pretty Christmas tree. So they sneak down into the, um, into the living room at night and they go all over the tree, all over the tree, all over the tree because they want to see the whole tree. And then by the time they're done, the whole tree is covered in spider webs. Well, then, um, Christmas, it's like a German, so whoever, you know, Santa, whatever comes, sees the Christmas tree and is like, oh, the mom won't like that it's completely covered in spider webs. She won't like that, but I don't want to destroy the, the spider's work. So, um, magic turns all of the spider webs into twinkling silvery gold, whatever, shimmery things, right? Hence, tinsel is born. So that is why to this day, supposedly, according to this legend, we put tinsels on trees. But it should also be traditional that we hang a spider somewhere in the tree to acknowledge the use of the tinsel. I've never heard this story before. And I have always tinseled my trees. So I thought that that is absolutely amazing. And yes, I will have a spider on my tree. Like, Hopefully I will get this done, ornamented, and I will have a spider on my tree. So that's, that's a neat story. I like, um, if, whether they're like fables or however you want to, what do you, what does she want to call them? Let's see. German, oh, a legend. She just called it a legend. But like, so stories like that, that like explain why we still do something to this day is really fun to me. Um, a lot of Athena's stories um, there's one involving a spider, which I found was really cool. Um, and maybe, maybe we'll do story time someday on that one too. Um, anyways, that was my haul from yesterday. And I've opened up all the advents. If you're still here, congratulations, hang on, because I got a package from Primrose Cottage yesterday. Um, Primrose Cottage Stitches. So I feel like they're, I mean, they've been around, but I just recently like this summer picked up one of their charts for the first time and it was a 4th of July one and it's kind of like subway art style where it's just like the words like all kind of turn different ways describing you know like what 4th of July is right so I have also picked up some more in my expo order and I believe I showed you guys all of my expo order uh, I picked up all my ones for my expo order and they contacted me and said that they so I was hosting 13 Stitches of Halloween and they asked if I would be interested in giving away some um, of their charts. So I got the package yesterday for giveaways. So we're going to do a giveaway. Okay. Um, first one, we are going to give away. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm doing daily videos, so I'm only going to give away like one a day. We're going to stretch this out um, and not one every single day. I mean, maybe we'll skip a couple days because I, I obviously they did not send me enough to give away. For the rest of the month <laughs> which no not necessary um primrose cottage stitches witchy way and i love the purple in this one and look at that boot house you guys spider hanging from the tree absolutely love it love it love it love it i love it it's super cute super cute and it's all dmc um it's 93 by 46 this is gonna be a quick stitch so yeah and witchy way so if you are interested in winning this chart um uh say you know use the word witchy i'll be looking for the word witchy in w-i-t-c-h-y just like you see it right there use the word witchy in your comment i will enter you in a giveaway i am going to also post on my instagram today a giveaway there as well for the 13 stitches so if you are participating in 13 stitches and um, everything like that yeah go look at my Instagram um, check that out and I will um, I will give away one over there on my channel as well or on my Instagram as well okay this one witchy for this one okay we're gonna do magical haul right I don't have any stitching to show you because oh I ended up driving yesterday so I did not stitch and then when I got home 
um, I was really tired. I did get on stitch and I did put like 10 or 15 stitches in, but it was on a September piece. It's not even a Halloween piece. It was just sitting right in front of me. I just grabbed it and my brain was numb. So yeah, I don't have any stitching to show you, but that's okay because I have a lot of magical haul. So we're going to reroute over to magical haul. If you're not interested in that, uh, peace out. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in. Um, if you are here for magical haul, congratulations. We've got a lot. First off, first and foremost, um, my husband's like, you got a box. I put it in your office. Probably assuming it was t-shirts. It was not t-shirts. I go up there because I didn't have any on an order yet. I, I, I have all my order, all my orders in. I'm like, what did I get? So I open it up and I've got stuffed animals. And I'm like, what? I didn't order these. And so then there's paper. I must have opened it upside down. So the papers were all the way at the bottom. So I pulled the papers out of the bottom and I've got this for you guys. It's from Build-A-Bear and it's from two very good friends of mine and mother and daughter, um, they decided that they think that I would absolutely love, love, love. Um, I have to, I'm going to have to name them though. Yeah, I have to pick a name. Do, 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 do. Yep. Okay. So this one is for the first one. I'm going to have to pick a name. Maybe you guys can help me name. Um, help me come up with a name for this amazing puppet girl. Look at his hair. Hey, you guys. Oh my gosh. Buckbeak obviously is the hippogriff on Harry Potter. Um, this doesn't have to be Buckbeak. We can come up with our own names. I'm very bad at coming up with my own names, but maybe you guys can help me. Look at, look at feathers. Love it. It's got tail. Um, bottom of his feet, we've got Build-A-Bear, Harry Potter, y'all. I love him. I love him. Uh, I'm thinking him. I don't know why. Maybe because Buckbeak is a him, but regardless, I'm thinking him. Let's come up with a him name. Um, next one. We need a name. 13 inches, 11 ounces, yellow eyes, white fur. For you guys. I'm, you know, I don't know if I need to come up with a name because this is Hedwig. Like, there's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. This is Hedwig. We're just gonna name, we're just gonna name her Hedwig. It's Hedwig. Um, she's got the things on her feet. Look at her eyes. Oh my gosh. And she's so soft, you guys. So soft. And I love her wings. Look at the detail on her wings. And she's so soft. She's got little fuzzies right here. Oh. Um, I will be honest, these are my first Build-A-Bears. They're super soft. I love them. Yeah. Love it, love it. Um, I've been too cheap to buy myself Build-A-Bears. Um, uh, they're kind of expensive. Kind of a lot expensive for stuffed animals. Um, I, you know, I have my, um, this is my one from Kohl's. <laughs> Not as soft, but still super cute. She's still super cute. Um, this is my one from Kohl's and they're $10. So yeah, that's manageable. I have no idea what those ones cost. Like there's, there's no invoice to tell me what they cost, but, um, regardless, I know they're expensive. Um, okay. That's enough on the Build-A-Bear. I love them. I love them. I love them. You guys. And it's upside down. Finally. Okay. LitJoy magical subscription. Um, magical classes is the theme and all I've done is cut the tape. I have not actually opened this box yet. We're going to go with it. We were supposed to get this box in August. So it's October. Um, they had a shipping dilemma with one of the items in the box. It arrived broken. It's been this whole thing. Um, I mean, it happens and I'm sure it will someday happen for Black Needle Society. I'm just like, there's a hopefully not, but I, I mean, things are going to happen. So, um, right on top, we've got a Hogwarts weekly schedule. So this looks like, um, classes lined out for the day. That's really cool. And like notes made by Harry, I guess. No, this planner belongs to Hermione Granger. So these are all Hermione Granger's notes on what she needs to do for each class. 
that's super awesome and then the back is like spoilers on um everything i don't want to look at that yet again this is all supposed to be pertaining to magical classes so first thing i'm grabbing out of here was a cute little cat bag super cute it's got a drawstring thingy here so let's open it up let's see what this is what do we got inside here oh it's oh they're connected so it's this stays connected that's nice okay Oh, okay, it's a bag. So it's a shopping bag. Okay. So, oh, this would actually be really good. We're going to the park. Um, when I'm not using it, I don't have to carry around this empty bag. But then once I start shopping, I can open up my bag and now I have a shopping bag. So this is Transfigurations, it says. Lesson 12, Cat to Bag. Oh, I get it. Okay. So it kind of tells you like how to fold it up and put it back into a, a cat. Um, there's a cat on that side. Super wrinkly, obviously, but cross species tea exercise. Refer to chapter six about vertebrate, anatomy and weight, um, handwork, sharp angle, clockwise, wand power, final look, folded bag, size X, material size Y, blah, 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 what have we got here? Transfiguring into a cat may be one of McGonagall's trademarks, but now you can also transfigure a cat into something else. This fun bag is perfect for carrying groceries from the store or taking on a day trip because it can be folded up whenever you're not using it. Make sure to carefully study the chalkboard illustrations on how to change a cat into a bag so that you can ace that upcoming OWL. All illustrations are designed by independent artist Karen Leopold. The bag measures approximately 15 inches by 23 inches. So all the illustrations are by Karen Leopold. Super cute. I love that. That's just a cute idea. That is a cute idea. I like that. Okay, next thing I'm grabbing is what do we got here? What does it say? Potion ingredients. Ooh. Potion ingredients. Salt and pepper. Whether you're creating an antidote drow or solution, using the finest quality ingredients ensures the best possible, best potion possible. Potioneers should fill these potion bottles with their favorite variety of salt and pepper to sprinkle into the in their cauldrons as needed. Remember to brew all potions carefully and with patience into clean cauldrons to achieve the proper effects. So I'm assuming a salt and pepper shaker. Who's with me? So cute, so cute. Oh, and they have, oh. There's pepper. It's on there a little bit crooked, but that's okay. There's pepper. And so it comes with this for the top, so you can shake your pepper out, but it also comes with a sealed one if you wanted to not use it as a salt and pepper shaker. And then we've got salt. And again, the openings but also came with a full one. That's super cute. You have your potion bottles for your salt and pepper. Um, I don't even see those on here. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh, and I like the salt and pepper they put in there. Um, potion recipes can be found every day. Potions textbook. That's basically on the back. Yep, that's what it said on the back of the box. Oh, and then it's got a quote from um, the book. Okay, so the this artwork and um, the potion bottle artwork is from Tim Ber Tim Barine, who has actually done artwork for um, the Black Needle Society as well. Fun fact: um, he did the um, thread drops for um, Frogwares box. Super cool. Okay, and then we've got Mandagora. Yep, that Mandagora is something or other. Mandagora officinorum. Ah. Property of Pomona Sprout. So each of these are supposed to be representing classes. So, so far we have Transfiguration and we have Potions. Obviously, this is going to be Herbology. Um, and I think this was the item that arrived broken. 
so it's kind of, it came with super extra extra. It's so freaking cute. Would you look at that? Okay, hang on. I don't have a lid. Okay, so I don't have a lid, but they did send an email saying that some of the items, the lids were broken. So they would send out what they had, and then when the lids are replaced um, in a couple of months, um, they would send those out separately. So this is what I have so far. I'm assuming the lid is probably going to be like green stuff sitting on top. <laughs> That's freaking adorable. That is adorable. You know, unless it's in, a, in another box here, I'm not sure. But let's see what this box is, because this just says magical collection on it. I'm not sure what this box is. Oh, no, 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 no. Hang on, it's not. Oh, there, okay, so there's supposed to be a little pot that I set him in. So, he's a planter. So you were supposed to put him in a little, there's, okay, here you go. There's a picture. He's supposed to have a little brown pot that he sits in, and then you make a plant put a plant in there and the plant grows out of his head that's why we look at the card you guys yes because flora and fauna play so many roles in the magical world we consider herbology one of the most important magical classes from mandrakes to gillyweed exploding snargle puffs or pods and the devil's snare we have seen these plants protecting and saving many magical students in dangerous situations now you can get started preparing for your OWLs in herbology with some hands-on experience Repotting mandrakes. This adorable mandrake potter, designed in-house by Lit Joy, comes from a creative box. Comes in a creative box by Timberine. So again, he did the artwork for this box, um, and this makes sense because there's a hole in the bottom there, and then you put them in the little pot, and the pot, you know, holds the water. Um, and is ready for your for to house your favorite leafy plant, real or artificial. And not to worry, this mandrake is only a seedling, and its cries won't kill you yet. Yet, once they grow up, I don't know. Okay, what do we got here? This is a totally different. Ooh, yes, I have wanted one of these. People, I've seen people making their own. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have the grin. Oh, an adorable teacup. And then on the inside it says, my dear, you have the grin. Oh, yeah. Yep, my dear, you have the grin. And then of course, the grin in the tea leaves at the bottom. Oh, okay, so this is obviously divination, teacup and saucer. Are you able to penetrate the veiled mysteries of the future through the inner eye? Though the inner eye can be a burden, the elective class of divination may help hone the skills of those who possess the sight. It may be kinder not to say, but this pixie pattern teacup will only give its drinker the worst of omens, the grim. Enjoy the extraordinary clairvoyant um, vibrations of the divination classroom while sipping a cup of tea to relax from the hustle and bustle that can cloud the inner eye. Designed by independent artist Evie Bookish, you'll find this teacup set useful in class and even more stunning. Oh, so there might there must be a saucer I'm missing. Hang on. Hang on. I think I'm missing the saucer. Yep. I bet that's it. Yep. This looks like it. Yep. Okay. Super, super pretty, you guys. There you go. Adorable. I love that. Okay. Care of Magical Creatures is next. I gotta set this box somewhere. Care of Magical Creatures is next. I know, because what? You guys. Let me open this up. Crinkle, crinkle. Wild plastic. Here we go. What have we got? What is this? Box? Oh, is a box. It's just a black box you can store stuff in. So cute. That is really soft. Really, really soft. The Monster Book of Monsters. Really, really soft. Look at his eyes. We're supposed to have feet down here. Or, uh, not feet. Uh, teeth. 
but not on there. That's okay. Um, Monster Book of Monsters Storage Box, The Monster Book of Monsters Textbook by Eduardus Lima can be a bit uh, overly aggressive. <laughs> To subdue this particular edition, make sure to pet the spine, care of magical creatures, and its much-loved teacher, Rubius Hagrid, is a favorite of students at Hogwarts. The course absolutely needed to be part of this crate, and this furry storage box was the perfect solution. Keep all of your magical goodies inside. Just watch out for chis... chis... puffers... pufflers? We couldn't wait to... Well, we wouldn't want them to gnaw through your wand or other magical objects. I don't know which is prefer prefer larger larger are, but this is adorable. Love that. Okay, what else do we have in the box? Okay, so I have these two things. I'll open these last. These are my add-ons. I paid extra for those. Um, every box we get a coin. So let's see what coin we got this time. Do, 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 do. What do we? What do we got? What do we got? Wingardium Leviosa to levitate objects. So the front tells you the spell and the back tells you how to the wand motion you need to do. So Wingard Wingardium Leviosa. If I had a wand in each, maybe, possibly. You guys, I'm struggling. There we go. Bam. Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. inner nerds coming out you guys um okay this one we have been getting these um like photo booth type thingies that's for something else okay so this is Lockhart it's Lockhart with the different okay Lockhart honing in on Luna's picture Lockhart honing in on oh she's holding a DA Hmm. Someone help me out there. Is that that's not Katie Bell? It's um. Uh, she's another. She's another one of the chasers. I feel like in. Uh, I can't remember. Okay. Um, and then with Trelawney, and then he's even honing in on the ghosts. I don't know who all those ghosts are supposed to be, but. It definitely looks like Rowena in the middle with the diadem. I don't know who the others are supposed to be. Let's see if it says anything on here. Okay, enjoy the next... Sorry, this is taking forever. Enjoy the next Lit Joy exclusive magical photo strip. Part of the photo strip collection. Illustrated by Sarah... Conradis? Conradson? Conradson. Welcome to the Ravenclaw common room. Imagine what kind of characters might pop up in a photo booth if it were set up here first. <coughs> or set up here. First we have our lovable Luna and of course that Gilderoy has found his way into the frame. Second is the prefect Padma Patil. <coughs> I was thinking Gryffindor. And Gilderoy is there. Next we have our dear sweet divination professor. <coughs> Though she seems a bit confused by the contraption taking the picture. Oh, and Gilderoy. And finally, the beautiful and haunting house members of Old Myrtle. Of Old. Myrtle, Helena, and, R and Rowena. So, is the little Myrtle? Moaning Myrtle? Is that supposed to be Moaning Myrtle all the way down there? It looks like a boy. Oh, that's her little pigtails coming out the side there. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, it's hard to see. Um, and we'll just pretend there's no one else in that frame, shall we? That's what it says. How cute. That's fun. Okay, then we've got shipping label. Okay. Did I add this on? Oh, well, this is included. Defense Against the Dark Arts. That's what I have for Defense Against the Dark Arts. And it's... Oh, they're magnets. I was like, there's not a pen on the back, so I'm not sure what's happening here, but they're magnets. Those are really good. 
Those are really good. So it, it rec represents the three curses, Crucio, Avada Kedavra, and Imperio. So right here, Imperio, you've got like a puppeteer, like pulling the puppet strings. No, this is Imperio, sorry. And then Crucio is the one creating the pain, binding them, and then Avada Kedavra death. And what does the card say? The dark arts are varied, ever-changing, and eternal. Def and defense against them requires not only smarts, flexibility, and quick thinking, but also constant vigilance. The defense against the dark arts class saw many teachers and a wide range of curriculum, but the lesson on unforgivable curses might have been one of the most important. The Avada Kedavra, Cruciatus, and Imperius curses are beautifully illustrated by artist Carlafara. Carlafara art? Carlafara, I don't know. As the three curses are defined, the Dark Lord's reign and were an ex exemplification of all dark arts at their core. Um, awesome. Okay. Artwork? Yep. Every... No, this is a card. Oh, so yeah. This is just explaining that the box was um delayed and that it and it gave and gives us a code for $10 off and um included this adorable. This might be a little freebie sticker. That's adorable. And here's artwork though. So this is definitely defense against the dark art. art yeah. Fence Against the Dark Arts and the um, Pixies. Super cute. Okay, I have a huge mess in front of me. Uh, that's an advertisement to join the Lunicorns. Goodness gracious, that's a huge advertisement. Okay, so this side is the advertisement to join the Lunicorns, but this side is a tableau. Um, so it's astrology. It's astrology artwork, basically. Mm, and it doesn't show it on there, but um, yeah. I know astronomy? Astronomy. They go up to the astronomy tower. Um, it's not ever something that they do in the movies, but definitely in the book they have like classes like one night a week where they need to go up to the astronomy tower and study the night skies. So I think that this is what is it in reference to. And it is definitely not in... English. It's not in English. It's maybe almost in Latin or something. I'm not sure. And then this is the artwork for the box. So we've got magical classes. And it is while they're in herbology, repent replanting mandrakes. Super cute. It should have Neville passed out somewhere. <laughs> but instead I think that's him over there playing with plants. I should have had him passed out. But it's super cute. Um, let's see if it said anything about. It doesn't say anything about that artwork that's on the back of that. Let's see if the front of it says anything. The night sky, a student's guide. It doesn't say anything about. Do you ever look up at the night sky and imagine a place where people just get you? Just as the stars connect from the constellations, the Lunicorn membership community. So yeah, I mean, it's basically just join Lunicorns, which is an which is an extra subscriber kind of fee thing that LitJoy does that I just not have I have not participated in. But there you go. Um. Yep. 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 Okay. So let's do the two add-ons that I did. Um, they're going to be the keys. I don't remember what they are at this point because it's been so long. Ooh, Ooh it's to the Quidditch room. Um, yes. I'm sure this whole thing. Yeah. So this is, they're like keychains. So you've got the club, you've got um, the, that's probably the quaffle, that's the bludgeon, bludger, yeah. 
And then, is there a snitch? Oh, the snitch is on the key. Get it out. The snitch is on the key. And then I like that the key um, is the three, three um, posts. Super cute. And then this is the... Oh, I can't get it out. It's all dangly. I love that. What does it say? Quality Quidditch? Yeah. Quality Quidditch supplies. And it's got the four house pendants. Super cute. Love that. Okay, that's one of them. The other one is... Ooh, potions. So it's to the potions dungeon. Oops. And then there's another sticker. I'm trying to not dump all the things out. Sorry, guys. Potions dungeon. So we've got a little book. It snaps open even. <laughs> it says Potions Volume 2 on it. And they're all just blank pages, but yeah, it opens. And then you've got blank pages in there. That's cute. That's super cute. And then you've got the key. Getting these things out of here. Uh, got potions up there. What does it say on it? Potions storeroom. Okay, so it's to the potions storeroom. So the storeroom is where he stores all the potions ingredients where they have to break into that room to get Polyjuice potion ingredients. And then there's that. And that says, mm -mm. body fame, oh, bottle fame, brew glory, stopper death. I can teach you how to bottle fame, brew glory, and even put to stop. There you go. Um, super cute. Okay, that's that whole entire box. And holy magical haul. We're at 42 minutes. This is basically a full episode at this point. Um, thank you. If you've stayed put and you've watched all of the things, thank you so much. Um, remember, it's been a long time since I mentioned that giveaway. Remember, if you want to do the giveaway, it's witchy. Um, I like to remind you at the end of the video because I feel like I get all the way to the end of a video and I'm like, shoot, I was going to say something. And what was I supposed to say? I don't remember. Um, tune into my Instagram for another giveaway on another, uh, for another pattern. Yeah. I'm like cleaning up the mess all around because I'm buried in stuff right now. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, unboxing live with me. That was super fun. Um, yeah. Have a great day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.